Welcome to Code with Kurt. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a to-do list software. And what I did with this one is I took the to-do list template that Google Sheets provides and I added a little Google Apps script to this to make it more functional. And the things I added is when you put a task in, it automatically applies a date. So I can show you I'm going to put a task in, I hit return, it's automatically can pro provide a date. And I used a on edit trigger to do that. And I also created this button to clear out tasks that have already been completed. So say you have a list of 20 tasks and you completed 10, but you don't want to see them anymore. You can hit this button and it'll, it'll clear out the ones that you've done and plus shrink your list down to just the ones you have left. So I'm going to go over the Google Apps script of this and I'm going to show you how I put this together. Again we're using the Google Sheets template, the to-do list template to kind of start this out and then I'm going to be adding some script in to do all this extra functionality. Before I get started, subscribe to this channel if you want to catch the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps script videos. Let's get started. First, we're going to start with a new Google Sheet. I'm going to go here. I'm going to hit this arrow. I'm going to say from template. And then from there, the first one I see is a to-do list. So I'm going to click that. So that brought up our to-do list. We're just going to keep the name of it up here. And the only thing we're going to add to this is a button. So I'm going to go to insert drawing go to shapes we're just going to do a button here to get this is clear completed task I'm going to hit save and complete I'll try to fit this in between here probably shrink it down a little bit there or keep that there. Next we're going to go to our script editor. That's under tools. And next I'm going to copy in the two functions that one, the first function does the adding the date and the second function does the clearing of the completed task. So I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to go over the two functions. So now I got to copy it. I'm going to save it. I'm going to name this to do list. So my first function is a on edit function. I called it on edit date. And after I review this, I'll show you how to add this as a trigger function. And from this E output gives me a whole whole range of data that I need to know wh where the trigger happened. So the E input lets me know what cell got changed. And then from there I could take that data and then if it's a certain cell that I'm looking for, then I can do an action. So the first statement I'm going to do is I'm getting the object of active sheets and then I am setting up my to-do list sheet here setting the object for my to-do sheet declaring that and then this to-do comes from my sheet name down here so then from the E I'm grabbing the range the spreadsheet the spreadsheet name the column the row and the input value and then from there I'm looking for search column 3 and anything greater than or equal to 4. So meaning I'm looking for some kind of change in the task column. And then from there I'm also looking for the value can equal nothing. So something has to be inputted and it's on spreadsheet to do. And then I'm getting a date here. So I'm getting the current date, converting the months, I'm doing the year here, but I don't have to. Actually, I'll just take that out. 
because all I'm showing is the day and the month on this one. So then from there, I'm populating the date from the search row. So when I change the task, I'm updating the date. And that completes this function here, the on edit date. The next function is the clear records. And this is the function I'll be tying to this button. So first here we're declaring the active spreadsheet object, then we're declaring our sheet, then we're getting the last row that is populated on the sheet, which in this one it'll take us all the way down to 50. So we're getting that number. First task we're going to do is we're actually going to find the last task that is populated. So we're going to go through each one of these rows and find which one was the last task that was populated. And we're going to get that value and that will be the last task row. So we're using the is blank but it keeps going through so if it equals true then it updates this variable minus one. That means we're going backwards one to catch the one that was actually populated. So once we get that, our first task at hand is we're going to blank out all the tasks that are completed. So we're using the last task row. We're going through each one, each one of the rows until we get to our last task. And if the check mark is true, which if this is checked, I'll go back up here like this one in, in number four. Then we're gonna we're gonna populate B and C with null values or blank values, and we're gonna set the checkbox back to unchecked, back to false. So we're gonna go through each row and do that to each record that has been checked off. And then next we're gonna do this spreadsheet app flush. That means it's just gonna update the view of that before we do our next task because then we're going to have a bunch of blank rows where every which one that was taken out or which I set to a blank value and then from there we're going to move up the rows that are still existing to kind of crunch down the list so from there I'm declaring a, an array of open rows I'm using this last task row so again we're, we're, we're still we still have that value and that's the value of the last test that was populated. And then we're going to go through, again, if it is if it is blank. So imagine this is blank since we just got rid of it. It's going to add this row to the array. It's going to push it to the array. So now we're, we're storing that row because we know that's a blank row that can be populated up. So then we go to the next row. Well, if that one isn't blank, and it is greater, and the and there is a row that is open that we stored in here, we're gonna take that row out of the array, which would be the the first one in the array, the first row in the array, and that's what the shift is. So we're gonna take the first record off the array, which would be the row. Then we're going to get the values of what is there. So say this one's blank, this one's populated. We're going to get these values. We're going to set those values to the next row, which is up here, row 4. So we're basically taking row 5's values, moving them up to 4. And then we're setting row 5's values to blank or null values. So we're making these blank. And then we're pushing that row to our open rows because now that row is open. Since we made it blank, it's, a, it's an available row to use. And then it keeps doing that same task over and over until it goes through each row and keeps moving them up to the next available row, which will crunch down our list. So that takes care of that function. Next thing we're going to do is the on edit date. We're going to assign this to a trigger. So I'm going to go to 
edit current project triggers we're gonna add a trigger and now we got our on edit date we're gonna select that one we're gonna select this as an on edit trigger and we're gonna hit save and this is gonna bring us to our security check here so we're gonna select our account we're gonna hit advanced we're gonna go to go to to-do list unsafe we're gonna allow it to edit create and delete our spreadsheet and that has added our trigger record in here so this will trigger every time we we update our sheet but again we're looking through very specific about what what area we're looking at before we do an action so then we're gonna do we're gonna attach this clear records function to our button that we created so we're gonna do that next we're gonna right click hit the three dots assign script and then go ahead and paste that in and we're gonna hit OK so that completes everything now it's completely done now if I add a task here say go to work I click that there I populate the date and then if I want to clear out my records so I click that and it's going to move everything up so that could complete this video if you have any questions or comments please leave it below the video until next time.